Well, sharpen up your star knives. Shintaro's on the way. Welcome back to the second of our martial arts dabble, the samurai. The samurai is extraordinary in that it was bigger here in Australia than anywhere else in the world. Despite its horrendously dubbed voices, plus lips that moved out of sync with the sound, colourless characters and its eccentric direction, Australian kids took the samurai to their hearts. In December and January of 65 and 66, when Shintaro, the star of the series, came to Australia, he was mobbed and he was as big as the Beatles, drawing more than 3,000 children to his arrival at Essendon Airport. Most were dressed as ninjas and greeted actor Koichi Ose with swords, star knives and similar signs of affection. At Sydney Airport, he was lost in a blaze of cardboard star knives and later he awarded prizes at Scanlon's, the bubblegum people that produced his cards. Now, are any of you watching tonight amongst those lucky prize winners? If Koichi Ose was surprised at the enthusiasm of his fans, that was nothing compared to the fans' surprise that although he could sign his autograph, he couldn't speak a word of English. But enough of his tour. Tonight we have the show that provoked that demented following. For all its faults, the samurai did have a stylish blending of swords and sorcery, a sort of Japanese Robin Hood with supernatural powers thrown in. The hero is Shintaro, a samurai warrior ever loyal to his shogun lord. Shintaro wanders the land righting wrongs. Often he is accompanied by Tombei the Mist, the head of a group of good ninjas called the Eager Ninjas, and occasionally they're joined by a young Shusaku, who can only be described as the kid interest. In their wanderings, Shintaro and his mates run into numerous group of ninjas who are highly trained warriors in the martial and magical arts. In tonight's episode, there's no Tombei, Shusaku or Eager Ninjas, but two groups of ninjas racing about. Both are dressed in black, but the Nagishi are scowling baddies, while the Kishu are goodies. You can tell them apart early on when the Kishu cut down a group of Nagishi who are about to skewer Shintaro. In tonight's story, there seems to be a, a sort of an overriding concern about the hiding place of some prince or other. And prior to this episode, we gather a boat was attacked and someone called Sick Cone was killed. The main concern is the Death Ninja an evil character, not only a good swordsman, able to leap backwards like all ninjas, he's impervious to star knives and has some neat tricks. One is the special trick of the living dead, plus a sort of manic chiropractic skill against enemies. He also has a rather spectacular Buffon Joan Collins-like wig. The wigs throughout are noticeable, and Shintaro sometimes looks more like Eddie Munster. But enough of that, it has some good sword fights and all the fun we remember from the Samurai. Taro and the men guarding Prince Yorikata went down Chibu River. From there, did they go up the Oshino River? Or maybe 
they have decided to go down the Kono River, or have they returned to the village of Wakayama? Since we haven't received any messages from Wakayama Castle, I am sure they are still around here. That's me, John. Stop it! It's been three days now since Shintaro got away. He wouldn't be wasting time staying around here. Then you tell us where he is. Shintaro the samurai is a very skilled man. I heard he even cut the monk's magic rope. Yes, he's a fantastic one. And now he is fooling you. And I heard you were almost killed by Shintaro the samurai. I won't be killed by him. That's why my name is the Death Ninja. Once I go after a man, I never fail to bring him death. And now, the cold hand of death is touching Shintaro. Wait, I will take his life. If all of you had not failed to do your jobs properly when we trapped them by the river, Shintaro would not have gotten away. Death Ninja, do not blame others for your own failure. Three signal flares. They have found Shintaro. Death Ninja, they are still around here. Don't brag until after you have got him. Shintaro is no match for you. Don't get in my way. Men, follow me. Only May. I'll signal when I kill Shintaro. It is strange there are only two of them. just as I suspected. There are no Nigishi ninja in the area. You've done well. But tell me, since the prince is in a safe hiding place, you have changed from defense to attack. You don't have to run away anymore. Isn't that a good feeling? They only attacked us one time and then they ran away. The Nagishi are nothing but talk. Now that the prince is safe, we're ready for more fights. On the way back to Wakayama, we had planned to kill many Nagishi. But with Shintaro's new idea, we'll them come to us. Only the five of us here know the prince's hiding place. So well, soon, I expect the Nagishi to come and attack us. Yes, and we're all prepared for them. But they haven't come to attack us in force. So I think they're planning something. Do you really think so? Yes, I really think so. And we must be very careful. We'll be careful. Oh! I hear footsteps. Coming this way. I wonder what will happen now. Hmm.
Excuse me. I have a favor to ask of you. What is it, old man? Eh, I was stupid. I dropped my flint and stone somewhere, and I very much would like to smoke my pipe right now, uh, if I could. <laughs> Tombe. Oh, yes. Old man, here. You may use this. Ah, thank you. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Here. Good day. Shintaro, do you think that old man is an Agishi ninja? No, even a very well-trained ninja. Would show evil intentions on his face. But that old man didn't show anything. No, I don't think that he was a ninja in disguise. But if that old man was a ninja... If he was? Then he would be one of their most skillful ones. Oh, I see. The Kishu ninja are gone. Chasing after that old man. He hasn't acted strangely yet. Maybe we're too suspicious. I don't think there are any Nigishi ninja around here. Shintaro must be worried about us. Shall we go back? Oh! <clears throat> he tricked us. I'm sure he's a Nigishi ninja. On the way here, there were no other Nigishi ninja. He's all alone. Let's catch him and make him talk. Wait! Stop it. You're not a very good actor. No matter what you say, it's useless. You better tell us all about the Nagishi Ninja's plan. I won't run nor hide from you. A good attitude to die with. You are all fools. You are the ones who should be preparing to die. I want to know the place where Prince Yorikata is hiding. You'd better tell me. Nagishi Ninja, you talk very strongly. There are three Kishu Ninja here. You think you can get away? <laughs> Stupid Kishu Ninja. Yotoji, Kansuke, Yukan. You are just like the one called Sakon. Will you fight me and die? What? You're the one who killed Sakon? It was I. They call me the Death Ninja. Why, you... Since all of you are Kishu Ninja, you must have heard the name of the Death Ninja before. Now see if you can kill me. He's dead. He called himself the Death Ninja. Did you see it? That is my special trick of the living dead. Speak. Tell me. Where is Prince Yorikata hiding? You cannot get away, so tell me. What no? What a shindaro! They were fools. Yotoji! Ukon! Kan 
Kolinsky! Who's there? I saw... I saw a terrible thing. Old man, what, what did you see? Calm down now. Uh, 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 a little further, there was a sword fight. What did you say? A sword fight? <laughs> Dotunji! Ukon! I told him not to go too far. Old man. I did all this. You what? I dislocated your joints to keep you from running away. Iga Ninja, you are the bait that will trap Shintaro. Now, drink a little of this. You'll stop twitching, and you won't be able to talk. You know, I am the Nagishi Ninja, called Death. After I have killed Shintaro, I will find out where Prince Yorikata is hiding from you. <laughs> you will remain conscious. And you will be able to see exactly how Shintaro dies. I will make you tell me where Prince Yorikata is hiding. Even if it takes me the rest of your natural life. Until you decide to tell me, you will stay just as you are. And now, I will carry you. Samurai! Well, you're that old man. Oh. Hombe! He was laying on the road way down there. Uh, uh, um. Tombe! What's wrong? Tombe! He looks like he's been poisoned. Did you say poisoned? Oh, that's terrible. We must do something quickly. Oh, yes. There is an old ruined temple near here. Let's take him there and we can look after him. All right. Help me. Yes. <laughs> Please, this way. I'll go outside and get some water for him. Thank you. We'll rest here for a little while. Tombe, why are you crying? Now, don't worry now. Crying isn't like you. Uh, uh, I hope this will be of some help to you. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, no, no, we should help each other at a horrible time like this. Oh? This looks like medicine. Tombe, what is this? Oh, you can't talk to me. Listen, Tombe. If this medicine is good for you, blink your eyes twice. If it's not, once. Do you understand me?
Ah. That's good. Oh! Ah! Old man! What are you doing? Jintaro Wakikusa, I am here to kill you. Ah! That voice! Why, you're... The Nagishi ninja who attacked the boat! You are right. I am the death ninja who has come for you. I have come here to bring you death. Until I succeed, I will never leave you alone. And you did this to Tombe. And you killed those Kishi ninja. <laughs> they came very near me and died. And now you will die. Come, Shintaro. side of your sword. Shintaro, I lost this fight. Only one. It means that the Death Ninja has been killed by Shintaro. stag of the death ninja had. It was in the best traditions of a degrade western where the dying cowpoke could do three or four pages of dialogue interspersed with various coughs and groans. Also from that you now know if confronted with a death ninja say when complaining about slow service in a sushi bar don't cut him. Use the blunt side